All right, guys, welcome back to Mr. Post Frame. Today, I'm at my house. I have this huge pile of Douglas fir timbers. I have six by sixes, six by eights. A um, couple of these are 24 feet long. I'm gonna be making a 48 foot wide uh, timber truss. Um, we're gonna be using metal plates to tie it all together, connecting gusset plates. So today's um, task is to get this all laid out, get all the angles cut, get it temporarily secured together so I can take measurements for all of the plates that I need to have made. I'm gonna take, probably make some cardboard templates, take them into a machine shop, have them make the plates that I want, get them powder coated. Then I can transfer all the pieces to the job site because this is gonna be a 48 foot uh, truss. So not that easy to transport if it's put together. So that's today's task. I've got them up here. I have this really big pad in front of my garage. It's plenty wide so I can get this all laid out on a flat surface. So I'm gonna get it unpacked and then uh, we'll start kind of laying it out, getting all our angles cut, pieces cut, whatnot. Try to transport this together. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what is That's it? huge. Is it 40? It's 48. 512. It's 120, so it's 10 feet of rise. So 24 and 10, so 24 feet run, 10 foot rise. The diagonal is 26 feet. Are these 26 feet, Justin? They sure look like they might be. I'm gonna come up short with my tape measure. There's 24, 26. Oh yeah, with a few inch, two and a half inches to spare. So, five, twelve, roof, pitch, in degrees, it's 22.62, 22.62, pencil, Ninety minus twenty-two point 
22.62 is 67.38. So that's that's that one. 24 run 10 rise. So this has got to be 26 feet. So that should be fairly simple. To... Well, those are heavy, Justin. Could you use your digital? Yeah, I'm doing that, but I want to see how oh, close I am. I see what you're saying. 21, 22. I just want to see if I'm close, you know what I mean? Seven point four. It was off just a hair, and then this will be twenty-two point six on the other end once I cut it. Set it at twenty-two point six. Cause a little bit of a problem. Not there, and not there, which is really shows you how much torque those are, how hard those knots are. Oh yeah, look at that. Is that not there? That's hard. Yes, this is why they have cranes in uh, timber frame places. This is so sharp, dude. Look how nice that is. Look at my angle, though. Oh, right there. Probably, probably need to come back just a little bit. That right there is real close. Oh, dang. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now I just need big metal plates, Justin. This is absolutely giant. I want to like, I'm going to run a couple screws in here to hold this. I think we're pretty good on our height. right at my line. All right guys, we're working right along. I got my two bottom cords, which are six by sixes um, cut. There's gonna be four posts. So there's gonna be one at each end and then one 16 feet in. 
And then the top uh, cords of the rafters of the truss are going to be or are six by eight. So I've got that one cut on both the top and bottom. I used my new Stabila angle finder, which was pretty sweet. Looks like my per uh, cuts are perfect. In this slab, I just used um, one of the relief cuts is kind of my guide for the center of the truss, which has worked out really well. So I'm going to cut this other rafter, get it put in place put some temp temporary lags in it just to kind of hold it where I want it and I'll build out the inside of this and then I can measure for all my plates. do is I'm going to secure it there, there, and there, and then I can cut this piece. Yeah, it's the 67. Should be, what, 67.4? Yeah, look at that. See that? I think that says 67.4. Does so that's what I gotta cut that at. Hold that together. Temporarily stacked together. This should be 10 feet, which it is. So then should be 111 and a half inches to the center. 111 and a half. Looks pretty square. I'll make my mark on this end and cut it off here. 11 and a half is the point. Side. And the middle's right there. And then it was 67.4.
so I'm building all the support in the middle. I have one up the middle, and then I'm going to come off the bottom up at an angle. But being this is so wide, I came in half the distance to the middle, which is 12, and then found what my angle measurement is, which is 13. And that should be 60 inches from the top of that to that mark, which it is. So I know I need to cut one 51 and a quarter inches at the center of my upright, so then it'll fit right in here. And it should be that same 67.4. Yeah, 67.4 degrees. So I'll go ahead, mark the other side, and I'll cut those two, get those tacked in there. So I think it'll look pretty cool. I want it to be um, even on both sides, so that's what I'm doing. Center, so my angle needs to go through there. So I'll set that at 67.4, run it through the middle. Project without a ratchet strap. That'll all be plated so that'll be covered. Just make cutouts of what I want. got all our uprights in and we're going to do two angles off this center and we just used a two by six to kind of mock this up because um, there is no right angle to work all this off of so I felt like instead of trying to figure this out mathematically I would just make a template I wanted this to land halfway between that upright and that upright so it looked symmetrical so we ended up with like, I think this is 72 degrees, and then that's like 18 down there. So we've got a board, we just got to strike this on our 6x6, six six, make two of them, and uh, we'll have this thing made. Then we can make templates for all of our plates, and I'll take them to the metal manufacturer in town and have them whip me out some plates. This one over here first.
sixty. It should be sixty-seven point four. Four. So that should be six, right? So that should be one twelve point six. So I need one, two, three, four. So I need twenty. Twenty-four. All right. So I'm just making cardboard templates. Um, so when I take this to the metal shop, they'll have something to go off of. Pretty simple. Put measurements on there where we want holes in our plates. Just got a few more to do, and then we'll be done. All right, guys, Justin and I just delivered, we took this truss all apart, delivered all the pieces so the client can seal it, stain it, do whatever they want. So um, this truss is gonna be right up here at this build site. Got the build pad all ready to go. This truss will be right here. It's gonna be pretty sweet. Get these beautiful white pines. Got all these walnut trees. But this is uh, where this 48 foot A-frame will be right at the end of the house here. So there'll be a porch and then it'll go all the way up to the second story and then you'll see this big exposed A-frame. But Pretty pumped up to get uh, this build started, to get this A-frame up. Um, I dropped off all my templates to the guy that does all of my metal fabrication. He's gonna make the uh, metal plates, connector plates um, for the truss. We're getting, they're gonna be powder coated black. We're gonna be using black bolts. So once we get to that point, we will show you how we put all that back together and then installing it. Um, but as always, we appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, share with your friends and we'll catch you on the next video.